there's still so many organizations that are using paper or, or you know, bits of spreadsheets and, and, and emails and stuff to be able to manage their operations. And I think there's still a lot that don't even know that a, a, a system like ours exists. Well, what interested me really was how you even got to reflow because when we first started talking you know, it, we were just it, it was a phone around. call that said i'm working on this thing yeah do you think we could maybe do something with this thing at yeah. some point down the line yeah but you know i've got this other organization called reactor that we build websites we build apps we do design and it's one of those classic things of one thing led to another led to another and we're doing this sort of series of apps for the nhs apps for gps via dashboards and having to work in quite difficult environments where they wouldn't be able to get reception and pushing data to them. And, and we were doing another project for a civil firm down where we are in Devon. I said, well, look, you know, we've got this problem where we're not getting information from the field. You guys can do something, right? And so we fiddled around with what we were doing and presented it to them and they, they really liked that. Suddenly, after six or seven of these conversations and we were starting to deal with some quite big organizations already, we were thinking, oh, you know, we might have something here. This might be a really good thing for the sector, might be a really good thing for the industry. And then I heard about you guys, and we thought, well, we best sort of start maybe talking to more highways folks. With the NHS stuff then, moving from what you were doing into highways, mm. how similar and or how different has that been? Did you have to make massive tweaks to what well, you're already doing or was honestly, it a very slight little tweak and all of a sudden you had a new market? Yeah, I mean, what? no. I mean, what we were doing, you know, is down down there somewhere and what we're doing now <laughs> is somewhere up there. You know, in terms of functionality, yeah. we've learned masses from our customers and each customer that's come on board said, it's good, but can it do this? But. You know, and obviously we've been very keen to really sort of make the product Fit for purpose and so we look after highways and civils is accounts for probably more than half of our client base uh, but we also look after water and drainage and power and telecom and and also a bit of landscaping as well when you first came into highways mm. did you have a one three and five year plan or because it all sounds a little bit ad hoc at the start was it just let's see how we go I'm only asking because in relation to your kind of growth, from yeah. our perspective, working with you on your marketing, it seems like things have been an absolute breeze. Walk in the park, Reflow's become this thing that yeah. loads of people within this sector know. This, this idea about building business and, and especially stratospheric ones, because we have, over four years, we've kind of gone, you know, real fast. Firstly, I've been very lucky with the people that I work with in our organization. Development to, to support, yep. which we have very, at the very center of what we do. And I think support is critical for a product like ours. And that cannot be underestimated because ultimately we're dealing with a complex piece of tech. And if it doesn't work, and if it's not something that we can hold the hand of every customer we bring on board, no matter how big or how small they are, it's, it's critical that we guide them. Really the start of that was, and the thing that really helped obviously, was that we got investment on board. Yeah. And that was, a, that was a journey which I thought, and we've done that three times now, which I thought was, I knew nothing about beforehand, but I've had a really great advisor who's one of our directors who's kind of like helped us on that journey. But I think that um, all the elements and the stars were right to show our investors now at that time that we were a good investment. When you say about that, experiential growth mm. how do you as let's just say little reflow yeah. reflow junior maybe back yeah. in the day how do you adapt to that so quickly yeah that's probably that's that's the hardest thing it's constantly understanding when you're growing that fast that you need your you're going to need somebody there that you're here but if you don't do it now that that's not going to be uh you know you, you're going to fall apart so but it's making decisions where you're sort of thinking well we need to do it now, but do we have the funds to be able to do it now? And but you have to you have to have a gut feeling and constantly be thinking, well, okay, we just gotta believe in ourselves. You know, and we're all we're still going through it now. You know, we're taking on another sort of ten or so people over the next sort of year. Just on today, I mean, I think I'm right in thinking this is the first time you've gone bespoke stand, bespoke build. Mm. That must be something you're quite proud of. Yeah. That must be something you're quite happy with. Yeah. And I guess that says a lot about 
where you are as a business now and what you're kind of looking to showcase? Coming to a show is not just about leads, leads, leads. It's also it's about meeting people, having conversations, no matter what, what that is. I think that any conversation you have at a expo like this is valuable because you never know what could come out of it. Well, partnerships could Even happen. this one. <laughs> Even this one, right? Yeah. So, and I think that you, as, as getting bigger, obviously we're, we're trying to say, look, you know, we're the guys, you know, we all deal with over a hundred highways firms now. We're the, we're, we're, we're the guys. So it's like, you've got to, I think you've got to show that. You've got to show your metal a little bit. As a business on marketing, you guys are daily. I see you all the time. I know how much work you put in. Why do you find it so important to be so consistent? People have got short memories. Yeah. And the fact is, is that we're living in an age where you're scrolling, you're scrolling. You've got to be relentless. Yeah. And also you've got to be relentless with using video and sound bites and little moments. It's the TikTok generation. We've got to take all of that kind of stuff in. And I think that every business really just does need to take that on board. You cannot just kind of like to say, oh, we'll just do that once a month. It's not, it's not enough. So you said about 10 new staff. Mm. Does that signify a sort of new era or just the next phase? What are your, let's say, six month plans and 24 month plans as things stand today? Yeah. You know what, every three months feels like a new era, <laughs> you know? We've got, our, our plan really is to keep, to keep moving forward with the software. It, I think it's really easy with a, with a uh, system like ours is to kind of go, oh yeah, great, that's it, you know? Everyone loves it that. It works. Yeah, but in six months' time, it becomes less relevant, and then in a year's time, even less relevant. So you've got to keep adding to that. So we are on our next stage of development. We're just sweeping up a piece of development that we're doing at the moment. We kind of see as wraps up a lot of what we've done, and now it's the next bit. Yeah, and we're, we've got some exciting stuff that we're creating. We've got like an 18-month program that starts in September, and we're developing a, uh, our next stage of reflow, which will take it into a whole new way of working. We are currently in uh, the UK and Ireland, and we're sort of looking at other marketplaces as well. Yeah. That'll be not yet, but that's also part of our operations, our idea for the future. There's still so many organizations that are using paper or, or you know, bits of spreadsheets and, and, and emails and stuff to be able to manage their operations. And I think there's still a lot that don't even know that a, a system like ours exists. If someone said, do you know Reflow? Oh. I know Reflow, yeah. They, what would you want someone to say? That's an interesting question. I guess um, I guess that we solve, uh, we, we, we digitize and we provide a process by which uh, information from site and to site is completely optimized. We provide efficiencies. It's a, it's a solution that uh, provides efficiencies. Uh, it's all about sustainability. Uh, so we're looking forward to, you know, saving the planet as well. You know, we're all trying to get involved in that. So. Uh, at, the, at the overarching, that's what Reflow does. It kind of you know, looks forward, it changes, gets rid of the old and brings in the new in terms of moving, moving the whole sector forward, really. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>